an interesting application that's been making the rounds here on Twitter is a new app called Stack Blitz. And what Stack Blitz allows us to do is make Angular, React, or Ionic applications here inside of our browser. One of the benefits of StackBlitz over other sites is that it has an embedded version of Visual Studio Code. This allows us to do everything from IntelliSense, Project Search, Go to Definition, and other key VS Code features, as well as things like hot reloading, NPM packages, offline editing, and an instant hosted application URL. Let's select a new Ionic project for reference. And as you can see, we have a new Ionic app built as quick as that. We get hello and welcome to Ionic on the screen. And I'm just gonna make this a little larger. And if we go ahead and navigate to our pages directory, something like our home.html, we could change the title to be stack blitz. And you can see that we instantly get this update here on the browser. We can navigate it as usual because everything inside of here is a standard Ionic app. But already we have this URL in which we can send other users to. So if we copy this, and as you can see here, when we go to this URL, here is our Ionic app. We can navigate the tabs as expected. And any changes that we do make on the initial application, we just have to hit save and it'll be updated on the URL. This makes creating new projects with Ionic and sharing them with other people super easy as we can do it from right here inside of StackBlitz. Like I said, it's not limited to Ionic. We can also do it with Angular and React. But overall, it's a very nice editor and it's a good experience because it's what we all know and love, Visual Studio Code. As far as I'm aware, the project is relatively new, so you might see some changes by the time you actually see this video. But I'm very happy with the performance of StackBlitz and I'll be using it in quite a few of the upcoming courses that I already have in production, specifically a React course that I do have coming very soon. But like I said, I'm very happy with StackBlitz and I'd love to know what you think inside of the comments section below. If you start a new Ionic app, you can now share it relatively easy with this new platform. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more videos. Don't forget to check out paulhalliday.io for Learn Ionic 3 from scratch and other courses. And once again, I would also like to thank the Patreons for supporting me every month as it allows me to make as much content as this every day. Until next time, I'll see you very soon in that next video.